Alright. Just another quick update on our hop dump brew day. Just for a laugh, I actually um, only put half the um, bat sparge water in, recirked it, and then dumped it into the kettle. That allowed enough volume in the kettle. I could fire up a couple of the elements, get them going. So he's all happy. And then with the rest of the bat sparge water, I've just added it to the mash tun. It's a little bit below the return line, you know, where I'd like it to be. So probably getting a little bit of hot side aeration at the moment, but I only leave it for a minute or so. Um, and then basically we'll dump that through to the kettle. You can see it's actually recirculating. If I can get there, I'm just going to hit the end to try and clean it, but don't know how well you can see that, but what's coming out is crystal clean. And, you know, it's just like basically pure water that's pouring through. It should be a fairly light beer anyway. I think about 12 EVC. That was doled up. Um, and see, that was before I changed Munich into Marisotta, so I have to find out what the impact that's done. His original recipe was 9 BBR or power and 1.5 Munich. Munich 1. Um, I've ended up with eight and a half BB ale and two Marisota. So I'll probably throw the colour out a bit, but who cares? It's only a bit of a laugh, the brew. So I think that's reset plenty. So I might kill the herms, open the valve up for the kettle, so you can start going that way and close. The old return line in here. So we'll be able to see it start dropping away from the old 100 litre mesh pan. And there she goes. So I may even throttle that back to about half just to give the um, moisture a chance to drop out the grain because this is going to be the last lot of pull out of the mush, mush tun let's see how we go we're expecting into our kettle we're looking for 81 and a half liters you read that at all, but so 81 and a half. We're probably getting close at the moment. We're probably um about there. I'm about 80 at the moment, so it's pretty close. Looks pretty dark to the vehicle. The colour. I'm expecting this to hard. Ah, there we go. You can see it, but probably hear it. It's starting to suck air. So if we have a quick look on here, about 83 liters we got. So we can kill the pump. Kill everything off. So yeah, I'm taking that looks eighty-three, transfer that around. Mm. Yeah, about eighty-three loaders, so about a loader over. Oh still pretty good. Oh, I'll get the third element running. I've got two running so far. Stole the HLT, stole the um, rims, so I'll steal the um, homes now and get the third element running over here. Mm. Then 
good thing too about this particular kettle, when I'm doing this size brew, I actually get one degree per minute ramp time with 6,000 watts. So what I can actually do is take a temperature reading of what it's actually at, at the moment. And we're, what, 79 degrees? 79.1. So we know we've still got 20 degrees to 100, so I can bugger off for 20 minutes. If I come back in about 18, um, should be pretty good. So I'll get the power in there, put the lid on, and go away. Um, that's probably one of the things I do like about the electric kettle over the gas, that you can actually set a clock by it. Huh? Well, the gas, it just depends on how hard you throttled it. The two NASA's that were definitely faster than the 6,000 watts I'm running there, but this is definitely quieter. Yes, it is a pink cloth I've got. <laughs> oh. See you a bit later on.